Well, take a look here. This video looks like it shows a normal business still. A man closing on a property he's selling. But minutes later, police arrested the man saying that the property was not his to sell. It's a crime that police say happens all too often here in South Florida. A home stolen and sold to an unsuspecting buyer. NBC6 investigator Willard Shepard shows you all the twists and turns. This story starts with an empty home and a title company owner turned detective. It ends with this man in court. Well, I am the authorized representative for Henry Ferguson. Well, you're Henry Ferguson, though, are you? I'm the authorized representative for as such. Broward County Judge John Hurley has seen just about everything, but this had him scratching his head. What is your name, though? Um, I go by a lot of names. My kids call me dad. My wife calls me husband. My dog calls me wolf wolf. It's, I go by many a name. But police say Henry Ferguson used his real name days before when he walked into Independence Title. The well-dressed 43-year-old man sat down in a conference room, saying he represented a man selling this Broward County home. He sat across the table from the owner of the title company, Kevin Thatcher. I did the closing myself, uh, you know, where normally I wouldn't do that. Ferguson came to the closing after providing Thatcher all the necessary paperwork. This one shows the mortgage had been paid off, and here's the warranty deed, signed and notarized. But all Thatcher saw were red flags. We just noticed there were some inconsistencies. He says his first clue was that six years had passed from the time the mortgage was paid until it was recorded with the Broward clerk. That's when he turned into Sherlock Holmes. The more research we did on this, the more we uncovered that just didn't make sense. So Thatcher asked Ferguson to put him in touch with the homeowner, Dwayne Fletcher. We asked a number of times because the seller said they knew this person. They knew Mr. Fletcher, uh, but that he was just hard to get a hold of. So I said, I'm going to dig in a little bit deeper to find Mr. Fletcher. And he found him about yeah, 90 miles said. away. I was kind of really surprised, yes, absolutely. Thatcher asked Fletcher the same questions we had. The signature on this warranty deed, is it yours? No, it's not. It is not my signature. You said a thousand percent you didn't sign this document. That, that, a million percent. The property was actually stolen from him without his knowledge. Thatcher contacted the FBI and Fort Lauderdale police, who filled in some blanks about Henry Ferguson, a convicted career criminal who'd spent a decade in prison for armed robbery. We had to weigh the options of, do we worry about this person coming in and the safety of our staff and our family, or do we do the right thing? And the right thing was making sure that they can get this person. With detectives watching, Thatcher pulled off the closing. Ferguson walked out expecting a $75,000 payday. Instead, police arrested him. Well, I mean, obviously, he was stealing from us. He was stealing from us. He was stealing from our clients. I'm saying you're Sherlock Holmes. Who do you think you are? A concerned citizen that wouldn't want this to happen to my family. I would call him Sherlock Holmes, too. I, he's actually my hero right now. We're in business to prevent things like this from happening. One case closed, another opened. I am the authorized representative. Of who? Um, Henry Ferguson. No matter who Ferguson says he is, he faces grand theft charges in this case. And he's charged with violating his probation that he was on until 2031. Home stealing scams happen all too frequently. One way to protect yourself is to check the official records to make sure property you own is still in your name. We'll walk you through how to do it when you click on this story in the investigators section of our website and in the NBC6 News and Weather app. Willard Shepard, NBC6 News.